Okay guys, so here we are standing on the interior of the 2012 Howard uh, SES 28. Uh, excuse, excuse the crudeness of this video. Extremely windy here on the lake in the boathouse today. I'm by myself. Was only able to partially remove the cover. It's really a two-man operation. But I wanted to get you a general overview. As you can see, the interior still looks fantastic. A little bit of dust. A few little cobwebs here and here. Normal boathouse stuff but other than that uh, no dry rotting stitching still looks good all the piping looks great on the interior i've raised the engine hatch the engine hatch raises and lowers just fine of course you've got the mercruiser 700 sci supercharged engine here uh, as you can see the bilge everything's extremely clean looks like a 20 hour boat little bit of a time capsule if you will so again um, there's a good look at that engine compartment down in the bilge everything looks pretty exceptional the flooring looks great bolsters on the seat all look good you got your Sony AM FM Sirius XM radio with remote control of course you've got your dash panel everything looks great you got your mercury racing uh, vessel view computer throttle moving forward to the bow you can see under there same condition all all the the seats look good just need a good wipe down uh, everything about the boat the acrylic windshield is in great shape no cracks or spider webbing no chips that I see anywhere so if you got questions about this boat, call the number below on your screen. You can reach out to me directly, Shane Head, at 903-293-3851. It's a real opportunity here at On A Piece of History. One of the first built uh, 28 SCS is featured in a magazine while being built. It can be, ma be made yours. Make an offer here at Pop Yachts. Shane Head again saying thanks for watching. You guys we're here looking on the outside what I can show you the hole looks really good very light scratch up here on the front probably won't show up in the video but there it is in the pictures but again everything about the boat to me looks like a 20-hour boat uh, the, the condition of the hull is in really great shape the colors are not faded there's no peeling or cracking that I can see anywhere uh, engine hatch cover upholstery looks good swim deck looks good again it does come with this full custom cover and I apologize again for the crudeness of this video as I'm battling pretty high winds out here at the boathouse today therefore didn't want to try to get this whole cover off by myself and attempt to get it back on while it's sitting on the lift but again, a 2012 Howard 28 SCS. It's got the Mercury Racing 700 supercharged V8. Only 20 hours. Engine scan was done in January. The boat's pretty much been stored here and winterized with some maintenance being done since 2020, since the original seller passed away. But this is a great opportunity to own a nice piece of history a phenomenal ride that the Howard brand is known for. They took the best of their sport deck design and transformed it into a walkthrough, open bow, power catamaran setup. One blemish, and you can look in the pictures right here uh, at the stern of the boat, you do have the gel coat chipped a little bit right here in that curve. Nothing major, probably bumped up on the ramp or something. Of course, you've got the NXT1 Mercury Outdrive. Skag looks good, prop looks good. A few dust bunnies, a few cobwebs like you normally would see here in the boat house. All right, guys, here we are at the trailer for the 2012 Howard 28 SCS. Uh, full steel trailer, was bought new with a boat, a 2012 model. Uh, fully steel trailer, swing away tongue, entry ladder, um, guys, everything looks good on the trailer. I don't see any rust. 
You can see it's a little grimy and dirty sitting under these trees. Uh, the trailer really has not been used as they've kept it, kept the boat in this boathouse. So I suspect that uh, it's been transported a couple of times back and forth for service. Other than that, it's been sitting right here. So uh, there's a little bit of mildew, moss growing on a couple of the side bunks. More than anything, it just needs a good cleanup and some TLC. Uh, probably the original carpet on the bunks. There's one tear down there in the middle of the bunk that you could tape down and still continue to use it for a little while. Tires are original, date codes from 2011. Uh, so certainly plan on putting a set of tires. There's six tires, of course. Probably would plan on repacking the bearings before you went anywhere. But the trailer certainly looks serviceable with a little minor TLC, a little cleanup. But the trailer is included with the boat. All right, there you have it.